What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Expand & Co. Today we're going to make one delicious, beautiful chicken pie in the Weber. Stay tuned. So you know for any pie, sweet or savoury, you need puff pastry. In the screen, up here somewhere, a little bit later, I'll share the link with you for the puff pastry that we made. So you can get that recipe as well. We've got some portobellini mushrooms over here, some cheese, rosemary, thyme, selection of peppers, some chilies, we've got a red and white onion, some flake sea salt, bacon, and a selection of spices. As always guys, the amounts and the ingredients will be in the description below. Let's get on with this cook. Quite a few chefs likes to use portobellini mushrooms as it's very versatile and it's got these beautiful earthy flavors. That could be a choice for you, but you don't have to stick to that. You could also use normal mushrooms, button mushrooms, whatever you like to use. So any color pepper will always have these light pieces of flesh. We need to remove that. They're very bitter. Careful with the knife, obviously. And then we're going to cut these up as well, small pieces, little squares, doesn't have to be perfect. You want to cut everything quite small. Think of a pie, you want to have small pieces and have space in your little tub. We're going to make personal pies here today. You want to make sure that there's enough of everything for everybody in there. Just cutting the chicken here, small cubes. Stick to small, it's a chicken pie. We're gonna personalize these pies. We're gonna make sure each person gets their own. We're gonna have delicious flavors here today. Some bacon, we're gonna try and get these bacon pieces crispy. It's always good to have a crunchy component in your dish. Guys, I like to heat up our skillet. And as always, I like to use avocado oil as it doesn't burn that easily. Nothing wrong with your olive oil. Some rosemary, a little bit of thyme, and the bacon you can do really the way you want it. So if you want crispy, carry on doing what we're doing here. Otherwise, start adding your other ingredients a little bit earlier. If you feel your skillet's too warm, you can always move your skillet to the right, to the left, wherever you have less heat. It's really looking beautiful and colorful. Then time to add our spices, some portobellini mushrooms. That's really going to add to those earthy flavors and it goes well with chicken. Now guys, this is all dependent on how crunchy you want it. Because you know all of these ingredients, they're already cooked. At this stage, we're going to add our chicken. So seal your chicken slightly. Then we're going to add a little bit of moisture to this dish. While searing the meat, you can add some salt. We like the sea salt flakes. Once you've seared your meat, you can add some white wine. If you don't want to add wine, you are more than welcome to add fluids like water. At the same time, you are degreasing the skillet. You can see it's starting to make a little bit of a sauce. And you want quite a medium thick sauce in order to have a good filling for your pie. Guys, we're going to use these bowls to do our pies in. So you want to just make sure that you cover it completely with oil. We're using olive oil. You want to make sure that your puff pastry is not going to stick to the surface here. Then you want to throw a little bit of your bread flour in there. This is the easiest way for me to do it. There you go. Can take the excess off. And if you have that, that's perfect. It's about 25 minutes in the cook here. Once you're ready with your chicken and it's fully cooked, this filling is ready to go. Let's take it off. Guys, we're going to use this homemade puff pastry we've made for these pies we're making today. I'll leave the link for you guys somewhere in the screen here so you can go and check if you want to see the recipe. Without further ado, let's get straight to it. Once again, be generous with your bread flour. You can see it's quite rigid. That's exactly what we want. You are just going to roll it out you're not going to knead it or anything. You're just going to roll it out evenly to the thickness that you want. You want to work as quick as possible. You don't want it to warm up too much. This recipe that I'm leaving as a link for you on top of the screen is basically enough for three personalized pies. So I'm basically going to cut it in three. You can stretch it slightly if you need to. Don't forget to make a little hole there on top. This is your top pastry. And then 
We're just going to fill these guys with our filling. There you go. You want to make sure that you stay inside your dough. There you go. We like to add a little bit of cheese. And then for your top part, make sure you go completely on the inside of your outer dough. You don't want it to leak. Once you've done that, you can start to close it. You can just turn it over. A little bit of egg wash on top. Basically, it's the yellow of the egg, the yolk. So we're doing this on indirect heat on the Weber. So normally you want 200 degrees Celsius and higher. Make a nice big fire here and that'll be perfect. We're going to close the lid and leave it for about 20 minutes. It's been 40 minutes. We had a look at 20 minutes and realized it needs to go a little bit longer. Um, and I think this is going to be ready. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Look at the browning on those spice. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Just going to use mittens so they don't burn us. Right guys, so you just want to make sure that you can see this one is moving and then it should be very easy to remove. It's about that time that you've been waiting for and I've been waiting for. I cannot wait anymore. I think it's time to taste this baby. Let's cut it up and see what we have. Wow, this smells amazing. Let's have a look at what we have here. This is beautiful. There's the toaster. I think we've got a little bit of everything there. Without further ado, cheers. Wow. I've got chicken in here, put the baleen, mushrooms, I could taste it. This is beautiful. Guys, this is really amazing. I loved it. I'm sure you're going to like it as well. You guys know, as always, if you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe, enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We can't do it without you. Leave a comment below. Let's interact. See you on the next one.